Here it is a third part of the Williams Point High School Fall. Friday, March 1st, 2024. So yeah. Murray CP Evan Zeppelin Evans so was 7551. North Korean T is up 6240 and Northeastern. We have William and Mary up 6342. Hampton is leading Hofstra 3728 with 803 to go. It's 152 to go. Campbell is up 6660 in Delaware. Townsend leading Strelson 6051. 9156. South Troy South Alabama. Enable 535 to go. 626 in third. Belmont 4735 for India State. Appalachian State 2925. Where Arkansas State is a minute to go. We have. Stony Brook 56, Strider Drexel 6058 on the road. Texas State upset Louisiana Rome 7673. Louisiana beat Southern Miss by one on the at home 5057. Marshall blew out for Southern 9043. 7058 James Madison Dominion 7972 Yale Strider or Cornell Cornell Columbia beat Brown 7762 Pennsylvania blew out Dartmouth. Thanks to a good, dull first quarter, and then just a slow grind on each of the remaining quarters. 39-41, 60-49. Princeton had a, had a, a deficit in Hatton, 33-26, but it was close at the three, even though know, at a six-point third quarter. Then they won 60-49 over Harvard, 74-62. Coastal Carolina beats Georgia State in the final sum of regular season game of the year for the Carmen Sermon starts on Tuesday. So, so there is a book in this one. So we'll take you to a different one. But there's only two games that I can show you that are books. Um, North Carolina and T did beat North is going to beat Northeastern, sixteen fifty three. But we're just I mean maybe not that score, but the time, the game is going to be in favor for North Carolina. T. Lynn Mary is going to be in favor of that one. And Hampton and Hofstra that's close. Thirty seven thirty one. We have 66 62 Campbell and Delaware. Townsend's going to beat Charleston and just Troy Sweet South Alabama. We only got India State Belmont and that's the only one I can show you right now is India State Belmont. Because Appalachian State at Arkansas State is in a three point, is a three point in a buzz, half thing. So if if worst case comes, we have to I have to show you South Alabama. Show you South Alabama. Try arise. It's in the state of Alabama. The majority of this. You're into about to see that, and then when these games are in the fourth quarter, we'll talk about scores as well as they start to trickle in. Try to drive. Finds Emily LaChapelle. She all put up a three off the back rim. No good. That looked like it was going down. It did look like that. The rebound comes down to Indiana State's Deja Jones, 5'9", junior from San Antonio. Chelsea Kane misses everything with a three-ball attempt. Deja Jones, uh, Juco transfer from San Antonio, came in replacing Ella Sawyer when Ella Sawyer was called for her fourth foul. And that's going to bring us to an official timeout. 4.56 remaining. That is the media timeout. So we'll go back to the scores here. And check in on the scores here. Officially, North Korean to beat Northeastern, 16 and 55. Actually, we'll go to the South Alabama at Troy. The South Alabama at Troy. As Evans at Murray State is in the book. Obviously, this one's in a lot too, but this is if necessary. I mean, should so fill, fill some time as well. Fill some work around time, yeah. As there is not a whole lot remaining here on the on the docket for women's hoops. There is not a whole lot. As I couldn't, as I was trying to do another part, but busy and other stuff. And so, otherwise, I was showing you these games. But. I'll show you some of the other games that I could at least in ESPN Plus. And there's not a whole lot of games. There's the CA, an NBC game, the Ivy League, 
and there is extra games because of Sunbo. I mean, but the Pacto will replace Sunbo because Pacto plays Fridays and Sundays. Three, bullseye, Gabby Cartagena. 11 made threes for the Trojans. 104-63. New season high in points for the Trojans. They lead South Alabama by 41. Trojans beat Louisiana by 46. Earlier this year, that's the most they've ever, it's the largest margin of victory in a conference game. Trojans get the stop here. Augman to Gabby. Pull up from the elbow is in. Trojans lead is 43. 106-63. Simmons to Jones in the corner. Three ball is in for Rozier. 106-66. That cuts the Troy lead back to 40. Augman drives in. Corner. Gabby was out of bounds when she caught it. Trojans turn it over. The Trojans may not match the 46. That was the end of margin in the victory over Louisiana earlier this season up 40 on South Alabama in the final minute 106 66 Leggett to Rozier back to Leggett driving to the basket and Leggett bounces it in through the contact great play by Rachel Leggett 106 68 final minute of the final game of the regular season here at Trojan Arena guy on off glass and good for Leilani Guyon. What a game she's having. 18 points for the Orlando native. The foul called against the Trojans will send South Alabama to the free throw line shooting two. Guyon elevates just outside the paint and bounces it in off the window. 18 points on seven of nine shooting. Three of four from three for Guy on the Trojans as a team. 54% up to 108 points in this one in the final minute. Second free throw for Simmons is good after she missed the first. 108-69. 39-point Troy lead. Final minute. Caro on the baseline. Caro working in, and she's fouled by Burks. Caro scoreless in this one. Trojans would love to get her on the scoring column, get her in the box score. Trojans leading by 39 in the final minute. Caro's got it. The paint elevates off back iron. Tipped up, controlled by South Alabama. Leggett running the floor. Guyon is there. Leggett scores. Up to 26 points in this one is Rachel Leggett. And with the shot clock off, the Troy Trojans sizzling as they head into the Sun Belt Tournament in Pensacola next week. A pair of 30 plus point victories to cap off the regular season for Shanda Rigby and her team, the Trojans victorious. And that is it. So, there is it for Troy. Troy beats. Drew in the 100 minutes.